Joining us now, and we should probably apologize for the conversation that we've just been having. Is oh, he new, needs to be introduced. Is the yeah. new tight ends coach, Steve Clark. Steve, welcome to Studio B and BYU Sports Thank Nation. You. This is impressive. This is the first Us time I've the been, facility. Uh, the facility. Yeah. You, you guys are okay too, <laughs> but uh, this is the first time I've been in here, and it's it's unbelievable what what they've done here. Yeah, did, you you were here uh, 05 to 07 as a as a GA. Yep. A little different now with with things on campus, including this building. Uh, that I walked in. They said, uh, "Pick an office." I picked my old office. So I got my old office, but then they said, no, you're down the hall. So they kicked me out of my old office. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's great to be back. Um, you know, some things have changed, some things haven't. It's, but it's, it's, it's great to be back at BYU. What is it like being hired in the midst of recruiting while everyone is essentially on the road? Uh, so Kalani called me. Um, well, it's like this. Kalani called me, and he said, I'm, I'm on a flight to Hawaii and I swear, 12 hours later, he was back in the office, and he, and he came and gave me a hug and said, "Hey, I'm going out. I'll, I'll talk to you later. I'm going out again." And he's he's a recruiting machine, so you know it's it, you, you do your own thing. I'm getting uh, familiarized with the with the recruits. I'm watching some film um, on them just so I have an idea. A big big group coming in this weekend, and so I want to be able to you know know who who's coming in and, and put names with faces and. And I've spent a little bit of time with Ty, uh, but most most everybody's gone, and you know, out recruiting. That's got to be an interesting process for sure. And what was the process like of getting hired back to BYU? I was at Weber State, and I was minding my own business and and uh, getting <laughs> doing recruiting. And I got a call, a call from Ty, and he said, "Would you come down and meet with me?" And I did. And uh, you know, a few weeks later, uh, you know, here you here are. I am, and. Uh, uh, you know, I'm from Provo. I went to Provo High, graduated from BYU. This is this is always where I I'd, I'd want to be, um, and so it's really a, a dream come true um, for me. And and uh, it's it's gone so fast. Uh, it's a, it's just for my wife and my kids and and my family. I got extended family are huge BYU fans, and it's. You know, I, I, re I really can't describe how fast it went. And it really didn't go that fast, but to me it seemed like it went really fast. What's that like when Ty calls you? <laughs> You're like, is this I, I, what? Well, he left a message, and I, I, I thought, you know, I wonder what he – I really didn't think much of it. I wonder what he wants to talk about. And, wants and to go hunting with me? What, what sure, you know, let's go fishing or, you know, you know does he want me to, sh you know, show him how to – how to play quarterback. I mean, what does, he want? <laughs> <laughs> what does he want? What does he, I mean, I really, we had such a good staff at Weber State. Great coaches there. I thought he was calling uh, for one of them. And he said, could you come down and meet with me? And I said, sure, you know, you're Ty Demmer. You win the Heisman, you know, that's. Is the Heisman going to be there, Ty? I, yeah, I should have asked him that. He's, <laughs> he's got one more Heisman than I have. So I, I said, yeah, I'll come down. And so I went down, and we met for two hours, and, and we just talked football. Yeah. Steve Clark, the new tight ends coach, with us in Studio B. He is trying to figure everything out. At least he's got a new office picked out. Uh, I, I do. I'm intrigued to know what went through your mind when Ty first presented to you, hey, we, we'd like you to coach here. What, what, what are you thinking in that moment? Um, are you like, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, yeah. Uh, so I, the last eight years, I've been uh, the offensive coordinator at Southern Utah and Weber State, and I've coached quarterbacks. And I knew that wasn't – so it was kind of, you know, what position are you, are you thinking? And, and, mm -hmm. and tight ends is, is uh, a really great position to coach because you're involved in pass protections, you're involved in the run game, you're involved in the, in the, in the pass game, obviously. So, so, yeah, there was a lot of, you know – High five yourself and at that moment and and uh, but you know it, it had to go through Kalani and Kalani, you know he 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 was he was the one that was going to make the final decision. So really, when I got the call from Kalani is when it it really happened and I was um, there were, you know there's some some tears shed and yeah, some sure uh, you know my daughter was so happy to you know. To hear it and she found out before anybody so mm. my wife was gone 
<laughs> you got to tell somebody. So I told my wife and Sorry, the dog, buddy. and the dog didn't care much. But <laughs> my, my daughter was fired up. Oh, that's when, good stuff. When you look at your career and you've you've made your way through the ranks and and in Utah, and I guess St. Mary's used to have a football team yeah. and whatnot. Right? One year I was there. One year, one one season, and they. <laughs> I shouldn't say it that way, but that was their one season they decided to drop football. You were, you were so good. They're like, we can't better this. we got to just say it. You know Gary Shiny coached there back in the day, right? I did not know at, that. At St. Mary's. He I had some crazy plaid pants. We'll find that picture. We'll send it to you, <laughs> and it'll be awesome. What, what, was that, I mean, validating of your coaching career so far to, to be a part of this uh, staff? Sure, sure. Um, yeah, I, but there's great coaches at every level. There's great coaches at every level. And and there was great coaches I worked with. You know, Coach Lamb at, at Southern Utah, great coach. Uh, coach Hill at Weaver State. Um, and that staff, they're, they're great coaches. I don't think you need to get to this level to validate yourself as a great coach. Uh, I think you can be a great coach. And there's some best coaches, football coaches, are in high school. So um, it, it, more than anything for me, it's, it's, it's humbling. It's very humbling. So when you look at yourself and you're challenged to assess players and star systems and ratings and all that, what strengths do you bring to the BYU football staff when you are kind of stepping out and, and looking at what you're going to bring here? Well, you, the last eight years that I've been coaching, we didn't care about a star system because we weren't getting any players that were, were in the star system. We always looked for fit um, guys that – Tough guys. We wanted tough, tough players. That's the first thing we looked for. They had to be tough-minded. They had to be tough physically, and they had to be willing to fight. And and that's that. That's what I had to do to to survive in this profession is fight, and 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 pick yourself up when you get knocked down and keep going. And I think that that's that's what I would want to bring to this. This, this program is some toughness, some fight. Um, and then, you know, you, you develop. You develop your players, especially here when you're not getting them for two, three years. You're recruiting them, and then you're not getting them for a while. You're going to have to develop mm. these guys. So, so developing them is as important as anything you do. And the number one thing you do as a college football coach is recruit. So. And we were talking about that in that, that first segment uh, – Describe the evaluation difference of, okay, there's some people who, for the public, give stars and whatnot, and then there's you guys who actually have to evaluate their entire life and football. Right. Describe maybe the difference on the coaching staff side. Well, it, it, for here, it really doesn't matter if, if the kid's a, a four, five, eight-star recruit. If he can't make it here, it doesn't really matter and doesn't do any, any good bringing him here. That process all starts as junior you know, that's when these kids start getting noticed is having a great junior year. There's a lot of guys that develop as seniors that aren't in that star system yet because they haven't been found out. So you look at the star system to kind of as a baseline, but it's not everything. Um, and you can't, you know, what's in here and how they fit with you and how they're going to mesh with the other team members – you can't put a star on that. And those are things that are very important to a football program. Now, what they do on the field is, you know, probably the, the chunk of the biggest chunk of, of, of the recruiting. They've got to be able to, to play. I don't know how much time you've had to review, like, what BYU has in terms of specific tight ends uh, or – had a chance to talk to Ty about what he wants to do. I know he said he wants to use the tight ends more and kind of go back to the way that BYU used to when he was the quarterback here. But what do you envision for your position group right now, the, the players in place, and what you want to do offensively? Well, I, I, I met the, uh, some tight ends. I met, I, I think, all of them that are there now very briefly at a workout yesterday. Um, but that was my first day. Uh, Ty has talked about using the tight ends um, – but, you know, the systems that you use, there, there's the system, but if the tight ends can't produce for the system, it really doesn't matter. Um, the tight ends have their job, too. They've got to make themselves valuable and in, in, in what's going on, and they've got to make themselves fit into the system. And tight ends are, are good to use because, you know, you can keep people in base personnels. 
with using your tight ends, but yet still throw the ball effectively. And so you're getting a mismatch on a on a, a linebacker or on a safety. You know, safety you're using your size, and linebacker you're using your your speed. So you want to be able to use that those tight ends, but. You know, as soon as recruiting gets all done, we'll get together as a staff and we'll figure out, you know, what we want to do, the direction we go. But, but the the talks I've had with Ty so far, yes, he wants to to use the tight ends. Do you do you feel some positive pressure given the history of the tight end position? At Absolutely, BYU? yeah. And and uh, so when I was the time I was at BYU, um, in 05, 6, and seven, there was there was Harleen. Harleen was. You know, a great tight end. Then Pitta was there. Yeah, that's a pretty good run. And George. And Those the, guys were all right. They, they yeah, they were they're okay. I mean, they were, <laughs> <laughs> um, and and they were great. And I think Pitta was even a walk on. So you talk yes. about the star system. There's a guy that's Chad in the Lewis NFL. Chad Lewis was a walk on. Chad Lewis and was a walk on. So Dennis Pitt. So two of the greatest tight ends. There you go. And I've had a lot of. Uh, I spent about an hour with Chad Lewis the other day talking tight ends and 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 you know his take on the tight ends and what we have coming back. So it's a good problem to have. You want to have that pressure. You want to have great players. You want to have to have to produce for the team. So I look forward to it. Steve Clark, the new tight ends coach at BYU with us in Studio B on BYU Sports Nation. When you look at that schedule next year, that you it's like, hey, come be the tight ends coach. And, oh, by the way, we're playing Arizona and Michigan State and Mississippi State and West Virginia – what do you what goes through your mind when you assess the schedule? Uh, let's go. I mean, what can you do about it? I mean, I, I I'm not shying away from it. I th- I say let's go. Let's go compare ourselves with the best there is out there. I mean, as a coach, that's what you want to do. You you you, you want to compare yourself, see where you are, and then reevaluate. I'm I'm not shying away from from the schedule. It's sure it's tough, but it is what it is and let's let's go. Let's let's go. What's the next week like for the coaching staff as you guys try and finish up signing? A lot of, a lot of home visits, um, and then it goes dead right before. I don't know if you know, you know what dead, dead means is that you can't go see him anymore. But So you finish up a lot of home visits, and then it goes dead, and then, and then you have uh, signing day ne- a week from today, today, yep. a week from today, and then you have that day where you're hoping to get you know those the the sign the sign document saying that you're you're good to go and then and then you start getting ready for spring but right now everything's full bore on you know getting recruits and getting them firmed up and I have an assignment for you Great. I love assignments. Will you make sure the fax machine is ready to go? <laughs> Plenty of ink, lots of paper. Yeah, the, usually the first one that comes through jams. At like 6 a.m., yeah, everyone's around. Yeah, it jams. Right? So you're, everybody's trying yeah. to figure out, get it unjammed, so the rest of them come, come No one through. ever knows what to do. You're calling yeah, IT. I'm the wrong guy for that. <laughs> That's the one assignment in the next week. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll read the manual on the fax machine and, and be up <laughs> okay, to date. Okay, very good. And, and then, yeah, yeah I'll, get it, I'll get it done. You'll read the terms and conditions. Review some film, all of that. <laughs> yeah. Anything else you guys need? You need the... Any other assignments? Fax machine's good. We need you to sign our stretch wide flag. Give us your autograph. I can you do that. Mind. Absolutely. Okay. You're Herbie Hancock. 